Hello everyone, we will start with Reformatsky reaction today. Reformatsky reaction is actually the reaction between aldehyde and ketone. You take aldehyde or ketone and treat it with alpha haloester, usually alpha bromoester, in presence of zinc as a catalyst to produce beta hydroxy ester. This is aldehyde and ketone and when it is treated with alpha bromoester in presence of zinc in an inert solvent like ether we get beta hydroxy alpha beta beta hydroxy ester and this reaction is called Reformatsky reaction. When this beta hydroxy ester is further heated it undergoes dehydration to give alpha beta unsaturated ester. Okay. When it is heated, hydrogen from here and OH from here, they undergo elimination of water and a double bond is formed, and this is and this is alpha beta unsaturated east okay so this reaction is actually called reformatsky reaction in the reformatsky reaction how the reaction proceeds let us have a look on the reaction mechanism In the reaction mechanism, zinc attacks on the carbonyl carbon of alpha bromo ester. This is the carbonyl carbon of alpha bromo ester. Carbonyl carbon of alpha bromo ester. You can noisily observe this is alpha bromo ester. And this is the carbonyl carbon and this is oxygen. This oxygen has lone pair of electron. So zinc attacks on the lone pair of electron on the oxygen. And this bond is broken. And this Br is removed. Okay. Here the oxidation state of zinc is 0. Okay. And then... A species like this is formed. And this PR goes with this chain. We are negative. So here the zinc has plus two oxidation state. The oxidation state of zinc is plus 2 over here. And then finally this zinc and Br they are attached with each other. And we get a reagent, a zinc enolate. And that zinc enolate is called Reformatsky reagent. So what we get is O, Zn, Br. O E T and the oxidation state of zinc over here is plus 2 and this is called zinc enolate and this zinc enolate is called Reformatsky reagent. Now this Reformatsky reagent it reacts with aldehyde or ketone and form a cyclic transition state which undergoes hydrolysis to form beta hydroxy ester. Let us see. So now this Reformatsky reaction, this is a Reformatsky reagent, Reformatsky reagent 
and this is zinc enolate so this zinc enolate it attacks on the carbonyl carbon of aldehyde and ketone so this bond sorry this is carbon this is not oxygen this is carbon so here ch2 will be there here ch2 is there or you cannot write anything so it will be considered as ch2 so now this bond is shifted here with this carbon it starts forming bond with this carbon this bond shifts here and it's and a bond between this zinc and this oxygen starts forming and this bond starts breaking you can make a new structure the same structure I am drawing again C double bond O R H this is aldehyde our carbonyl group of aldehyde are ketone and Zn O C double bond O E T this is zinc enolate and this is Br negative zinc okay. Br okay so this is zinc enolate and this is reformatsky reagent now again we will observe the shifting this bond shifts here and a bond between this carbon and this double bond starts forming this bond shifts here and a cyclic transition state is formed. this bond shifts here and a six membered cyclic transition state is formed when this cyclic transition state is treated with water it breaks and it forms C O H R and then C H now again and here it is double bond O okay and this is O E T so when it is treated with water we get this this is beta hydroxy ester this is alpha beta so this is the final product beta hydroxy ester when this beta hydroxy ester is heated it undergoes dehydration this h2 is removed from here and one h is removed from here and a double bond is formed over here so we will get r c h double bond CH ester this is alpha beta unsaturated ester alpha beta unsaturated ester now we will take a few examples of this reform Matsky reaction okay. examples This is phenyl ketone PHCO CH3 and when it is treated with OZNBr, this is OZNBr and double bond OET. This is Reformatsky reagent, means zinc enolate of alpha halo ester. Now this will attack over here and this bond shifts here so what we obtain is ph c h o h c s3 this bond is this carbon will attack on this carbon so a bond will be formed between this and this so CH2 C double bond O and OET okay. so this is beta hydroxy this is beta hydroxy ester right so this is the final product of reformatsky reaction 
one more we can observe one more example we can take this was the first example now second example c double bond o h okay this is an aromatic aldehyde this this moiety is called thiophene and that is aromatic in nature and we use z and br o e t this is a format key reagent enolate zinc enolate of alpha bromo ester now this enolate will attack over here this bond shifts here and finally will get beta hydroxy ester this is h2o in a cyclic transition state six member transition state will be formed and finally what we get is ch oh ch2 c double bond o oet this is beta hydroxy is two right and this is the final product when it is treated it is heated it may undergo dehydration h will be removed from here and oh will be removed from here okay thank you